In the past two and a half years, over four million people in Thailand have contracted COVID-19. The situation has improved significantly, and it will soon be over. But when it comes to mental illness, COVID-19 has taken a toll on a lot of people. And according to a spokesman for the Public Health Ministry's Mental Health Department, its impacts will be felt for at least another two to three years. In general. The impact from the COVID crisis can can be varied. It can be from the minor problem like relationship problem, educational problem, and it can um, send the effect to the higher, um, to the, the 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 more severe problem, such as like um, the mood disorder, the anxiety disorder, also the uh, drug abuse, drug dependence, or even the psychotic disorder. After that, and many people, some someone lost someone, um, someone in their families. So the impact from that can send um, the consequence for a very long time. Four major mental health threats are present among Thai people, namely stress, depression risk, suicide risk, and burnout. An online risk assessment site, whatjai.com, has been developed by the mental health department to help people check their mental health. Two years after its launch, over three million people have taken the test. Borod said such assessment can help prevent the illness from deteriorating, as well as create self-awareness so people can seek professional help they might need. At the same time, data collected through the survey also helps the department plan their strategy. We learned more, something more that people in the younger group, um, people, um, the kids in the school, the adolescent in the university, they receive more impact comparing to people in the other group. Um, in, in, in some parts like stress and the, uh, stress and the risk of depression, um, in, some, in, in the adolescent group, the, the number is higher like four or five times comparing to um, the adults group. So this sends the signs to us that we need to work more in this group and we should look down deep to this group about the factor that related to this kind of the higher number of, of their stress and um, uh, the, the risk of depression. Handling mental illness, we can either prevent it or deal with it when it happens. In the first case, the psychiatrist suggests that we avoid the risk factor. In the latter, resilience is the answer. On the other side, we need to improve for the mental health skill. We need to improve resilience, we need to improve thriving, we need to improve something like we call like um, injection of mental health vaccine. If we have a friend or family member who seems to be having the problem, so what, what can we do to help them? Just listen carefully. It's called active listening. You listen and it will build the, the, the connection and, they, and we, we can help them to, uh, them to feel that there's someone out there want to help them and they're not alone. Seeking professional help is certainly a good idea, but if you don't think you're ready to do it in person, you also have the option of calling the mental health hotline or reaching out through online channels using the at Quigan line account or the mobile application Sati, also developed by the mental health department. Shalal Lakjan Wan Pen, Thai PBS World.